We are going to have a new event guys and as always before any event starts, we will take a look at pictures of that event. To know what we are going to do and what we are going to get. This time we will have a lucky board event for the third time which is called Snowman Lucky Board. As you remember, if it's not the first time you are going to play this event, you will need to roll your dice. We will have two kinds of dice, we will have normal die and magic die. Normal die will give you a random amount of points from 1 to 6 and by using a magic die you will be able to choose the number. As you can see on board we have a lot of different rewards which are refreshed when you cross the finish line. Besides that we have a few items, we have jail in which you can get up to 12 dice or nothing, magic sphere which change rewards on stars, Train that collects all these rewards from this line. The last one we have, these two stars. The first one accumulates stars whenever you cross it. And when you step on it, it will give you a certain amount of stars. Finish line, the last square, will give you two stars if you'll cross it or if you'll step on it. It doesn't matter. Guys, I almost forgot about this signpost that changed direction. If you'll step on it, you will go down. Besides rewards from Lucky Board, we have rewards which you'll get by collecting a certain amount of stars. As you can see in this picture is not much shown, so let's see what description says about these rewards. You will be able to get Asgate Accent Equipment Choice Pack, Legend Collectible, Book of Ancient Wisdom, Master Yan Shards and Epic Collectible Chests. But how many stars you'll need to collect to get them is not known. Talking about stars, about rewards, we have a lucky ranking. From what I see guys, the first group has the same rewards as during previous lucky board event. So I believe that all these group rewards and amount of stars you should get to get into a certain group will be the same. But to know it for sure, we will be able to know it only on the second day. The next what we have, we have missions, we have watch ad mission, lock in mission, play main chapter mission, defeat monster, claim daily challenge chests. Looks like that all missions will be the same as during previous event. So we must have two more missions, quick battle and open chest mission. Again we will have smaller event, 5 days event. But if we we'll compare amount of dice with previous event, we will see for example let's take login mission. That new event smaller but gives more dice. I hope that we will not have the same situation as with fishing event, as with my favorite event guys. They made it smaller and gave us less amount of lures. The last what we have are sales. As always free to be players like me will get some trash. Players that are willing to spend some money, this time you will not get reset while. But you can buy chaos chest, ash chest, master yan shards and legendary collectible with epic tech part chests. Ok guys, that's all what I have by now. In comments, write what do you think about this event, is it nerfed or not? Do not forget to subscribe my channel and would be great if you will like this video. It helps me to make a better content for you.